This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Dimco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Coming to you from Old School Barbecue over here on Corsa Boulevard. So uh, I, I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a little strange because we have so many tournaments and activities going on. I, I feel sorry for the people that were supposed to send me reports. They probably didn't get through the late Saturday night. Sunday, they probably took a day off, went to church. Same thing I did. I'm going to be a week late on those reports. From Swole Fest, I'm going to be a little bit late on the reports. And a couple of rodeos and tournaments that were going on. I saw on Facebook that fishers are men. They used to send me all their reports. They had a good turnout. They had a fishing. Now, going back to Swole Fest, I'm going to talk a little bit about it me at the, you know, later on in the show. Uh, CCA Star is going on. We're trying to get all those people, get them reports here, and it's doing it. And as far as rodeos and stuff, I'm going to repeat itself. I'm going to tell you all right now. With the 4th of July weekend, there's rodeos from all the way in Lake Charles all the way here going to the North Shore. You don't know where they're going to be rodeos or tournaments are going on right now during July. And the Big Daddy, the two Big Daddies, on the last weekend in July, you know where that's at. It's the Grand Isle, Big Daddy Rodeo, and Fall Pie that's going on in, down in Venice. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to start off with Chaz again. Thank God for Chaz so much. Good report. And I'm going to tell you, everywhere they're catching fish right now, I promise not to leave nobody out in the fish report, but you can't beat Chaz and those people that slide out of captains right now. It's just amazing. So stay tuned. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. After you watch Chaz, we're going to come back and give you a, a fish report. asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? As members of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we've all got a job to do. And the more we work together, the more we save. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative.
folks. All right, guys, we're gonna start the morning off. Fishing some shorelines on the south shore. The cleanest water here lately has been on the south end of the lake. And I'm using that croaker color as we get later into that spring, summer time. One of trout's favorite things to eat is croaker as they start in their spawn right now. This is a nice, nice, healthy female, two, two and a half pounder, charging that uh, croaker X shad. That daddy. I've been seeing a lot of these smaller flounder around this year, so that's a good sign for the fall. Maybe we'll get a good fall run on some doormats. Now I'm throwing this croaker colored X shad as I just love it for those early summer trout as that's one of the biggest things they eat when they start spawning but don't get me wrong them redfish love this thing too and we got plenty of these little smaller reds here right there I was just simply throwing up towards this tip of this rock jetty here caught the trout out in no man's land right up on a rock jetty i'm gonna see if they got a school of them right there let's see all right so right here where we're at you know this spot is kind of co caused by coastal erosion this used to be a straight marsh shoreline behind me but now it's just blown through to where it connects to the bayou sauvage canal the irish bayou canal call it what you want now out in the front of it, all the time when I'm here, I, I'm snagged wood. It must have been some old stumps that were here back in the day. And whenever I'm fishing over here and I, or I'm talking to friends and I'm telling them, I just tell them, if you're not snagging pieces of wood from time to time, then you're, you're not in the right area. So that, you know, whatever these stumps are, that kind of, is what these fish like. And then on top of that, when you got the current moving, it's gonna be moving from the Bayou Sauvage Canal. Look, there's another piece of wood. That's just part of it, bouncing a jig. Sam's throwing a cork right now, and he's catching a couple nice ones like that. But I like to fish both the jig and the cork to keep them honest, see what they really want. The good thing with the cork is it's gonna keep you from, um, you know, getting the snag, but I like to throw the jig because if I, it kind of tells me if I'm getting snagged, at least I know I'm in the right area because we're just obviously just fishing out in the middle of, middle of nowhere here. But it's those wooden stumps like I'm snagged on right now is that's the key to holding these fish here. There's one. He's rolling. Oh, yeah. Doesn't feel too big. Let me show you what I switched to. Sam was getting them one after the other, bite, 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 in the same little zone. Then I pushed back further and further so it's got shallower. I think Sam's got one on now. I see his cork moving. Another trout. Not the biggest in the world. But I switched to the Matrix Minnow. When I can find these fish concentrated, I'm gonna have to get pliers to get that one out. Find these fish concentrated, and I catch them in, in you know, they're in shallow water. That Matrix Minnow is a deadly, deadly creature right there. What we got? What we got here, baby? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that one. Switch to that Matrix Rip Shad. 
Getting some good ones now, baby. The Matrix Rip Shed's a bad dude. I'll tell you just why I decided to switch to that in a minute. Pretty one there on the rip shed. That baby on the rip shed. Come on up. That's a good one, baby. That rip shed. I'm glad I switched to it. I'm glad I switched to it. Catching these fish a little bit shallower. This rip shed dives down a little bit shallower not catching so much grass and these big trout you know the court's doing pretty well but it's also catching a lot smaller fish where this rip shed is doing damage beauty all right guys i started to catch a decent bit of grass as i pushed back further and further into this blow through as the further I get back here, the shallower it gets, the grassier it gets. So, I'm going to show you what I did to chain to fix that. This was barely hooked. Good fish, too. Good fish. So, that is the Matrix Rip Shaft. Let me show you guys this beautiful trout right here it just caught. Pretty, pretty fish. That's the Rip Shaft. What I was throwing earlier and caught a few on, the Matrix Minnow. The Rip Shad is better for shallow water, like two to four foot. This is better for like seven to four foot. This one dives down a little bit further. So when you start catching grass on this one, simply switch over to the Rip Shad. It's a little bit bigger and it did yield one of our biggest fish of the day. And it's a fabulous bait. Got a little grass on the bottom. Sam's been catching plenty on the cork. Got redfish out here. Nice trout out here. Throwback trout out here. But just a nice day. We're going to go ahead and close it on that pretty one right there on the Matrix Rip Shed. The Matrix Minnow. As members of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we've all got a job to do. And the more we work together, the more we save. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? <laughs> Who the heck is Benny? Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. The Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report and News Report. So I'm going to try to get them a little bit and give y'all a calendar of things coming up. I told y'all about these rodeos and tournaments coming up, uh, the big daddies. Uh, but I got a request. I need everybody out there watching. 
I got a short list. I know where people are fishing off the bank. I know going down in Fushon, you got to be careful. There's some places you can fish off the bank. Some of them are posted. Uh, Sam down down in, in, in Lake George, around Big Lake, or down on the coast, you, you can fish, you can crab. Uh, a lot of times they have trouble with litter, and then people in private places or in even public places, they shut them down, the wildlife and fishers. If you don't take care of it, and they go up there and they see you leaving your bait, dying bait on the store, they're going to they gonna cut it down. I want to have a push right now, and I need your help. If you know of any places, any fishing places, pier or banks, where people can go and fish, and, and, and don't crowd anybody and be safe, please give me, start emailing me a list. And we can talk about it. I'll check it out first. I'll tell me a place to call. Uh, uh, you know, some people that got a marina, they got pier fishing. You know, Grand Isle, the, the bridge side, all the piers, all the walking for years. Unbelievable place. You know, down in Fushong. It's not a short ride, you know, for, but, but if you're from New Orleans or you in that way, tremendous fishing. Right there, Grand Isle, on the beach. So I, I, I want to just pull them all together, okay, I can, and give some people that are searching. I see they're searching on Facebook, and I want them to come to Paradise, Louisiana, and I'm going to tell you. But you got to promise, if you go catching fish, don't keep it a secret. You email me, Gary, at ParadiseLouisiana.com. Now, let, let, let me start off with the fishing report. Right now, the hottest place is going is Slidell again. Uh, Captain Mike Brantley, he sent me some pictures. Uh, he, he was fishing with Matt Williams and uh, Kristen and Falcon Hansen. You, this is smorgasbord. He sent me one yesterday, and uh, he, he, he sent me the pictures. I'll probably run them, but I, I didn't have a chance to write all the names down. But they're unbelievable. They're fishing the piers. I'm talking about not the, the bridges. They're fishing the bridges. Carolina rig, live shrimp. All the marinas there got live shrimp. I'm talking about Island Marina. I'm talking about Wrigley's. I'm talking about the point. Those people, got they got bait, and they're fishing the bridges. Sometimes you're going to see them a little crowded maybe. Just be courteous. Everybody's catching fish when the weather permits. Now, I talk to some of them people right now, just weekend warriors. Uh, they're going in there and catching a few fish. They're catching a smorgasbord. They're catching redfish uh, constant. Now, my, my old favorite people that send me the reports, send me the catalog and, and the log that they've been doing for years. I'm talking about Major Tom LeBlanc, and my retired coach, Cesar Garcia. Garcia was on a trip around the world. He got back, he was a little tired, but uh, they made a few trips. Tom and them went, went over there and they heard the fish were biting and then Delacro, they caught enough. But, and it was right there. You do know you got a new redfish rules and regulations and limit. So he showed them fish, he said, and when he checked them, that was the old rules. It's the new rules right now. He wouldn't have had that many keepers on redfish. So, you know, they went up. You got an 18-inch lemon instead of 16. The captains can't keep their lemon, and you're down to three fish instead of five. So if you got any questions on what the lemon is or what permits you need, don't forget go to the website at the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fishes. Maybe it's... Chris can run it on the screen so y'all can see it while we're talking. Don't forget what I asked you. If you got a place you're fishing off the bank, and uh, I know they got ponds and friends, they got farm ponds and everything, that's private, and, and you, you can't always go. But don't be shy. If you know there's a pond, go ask them. Sometimes those ponds will get overrun. I know my friends, when they were living at Lake Road Mound, he had those private lakes. 
he told us, I want you to catch everything you can out of there, small bass or whatever, throw them on the bank. We didn't throw them in the bank, we threw them in the grease because they were being overrun. So some of these people, they manage it in those ponds and everything. Don't be afraid to ask. Okay. Now, let's go back and get the fishing pole a little bit more so we, we can get out of here. Uh, Grand Isle. Unbelievable. Join this rodeo, <clears throat> and I'll show you them. I had so many reports, pictures were sending me from the rodeo. A snapper, snapper season open. You all see the beautiful fish, the snapper they're catching. Uh, one of our old sponsors, a good friend of mine, uh, I was at church and somebody said, come see what Peyton, Peyton Murphy caught. He was in his boat, his trap, but they, they all caught, they all caught snapper and everything. They're going offshore. And whenever the weather light them, you see it. Same thing in Venice. All the captains right now are fishing in Venice. But Venice right now, speckled trout, the Carters, and all those people out of Venice Marina and their motherland is right now. On Facebook, every captain I know in Venice right now are catching smorgasbord. When I say smorgasbord, I'm talking about redfish, flounder, speckled trout. And uh, I'm still getting a few reports from bass now from the Slidell area, but I, I need more. I need more because I want to go catch bass. I'm going to go down to the spillway. I'm going to jump around. Sheffield Eye Spillway has is, is been high. <coughs> Excuse me. And you see how high it is right now. I looked the other day, and it was starting to fall way up north, the Mississippi River and Sheffield Eye. Well, it slowed down. I don't know the reason it slowed down. But usually when you get in late June and July, you'll have a, you'll, you'll start getting those falls from up and up. Even if it gets storms, if they're in Missouri, it don't affect them. Ohio and everything east, it affects the river. It's Texas, Mississippi River, Ohio River, it comes down. Go in the newspaper and you can watch them. You remember, when it starts falling, Butler Rose gets around 12, down in Morgan City gets under four. You know, you, you, you can get ready. They're going to be running out some places you can fish in the Chaffalai Spillway. Right now, Lake Barrett, still the hottest spot. I, I heard a few things, but all of a sudden it, it muddied up. We're having so much rain that Pat's Bay and some of those places I was hearing about, it, it knocked off. Lake Barrett, for some reason, it's a massive body of water. They're catching a few, and they're giving in and fishing a few of those tournaments. Going back again, I'm, a, I'm trying to, don't want to leave nothing out. Down in the Pearl River right now, they were catching bass like crazy. The Pearl River is chocolate, and it's messing up some of the places in Lake Bourne and different places that muddy water got. Biloxi Marsh. Got muddy. All of a sudden, they were catching fish. But I told you, Delacroix down there, they still got a few places they're catching fish. Go, go to Facebook. Go check Chas out, and now you get that. Saltwater fishing, I was telling you, offshore, the people right now booking tuna trips or whatever you want to do, you, you, it's time to do it. Time to buy gift certificates. For the day right here. What better gift you can give your father than, than, than a gift certificate on a guided trip and you be with them, okay? Have a bunch of sons, daughters, whoever. Best thing going right now. We are chock full with some great captains. Uh, you can go to their website and uh, you, you can pick your captains out. Email me. Tell me what, where you want to go and I, I'll give you some names of some captains. Now, uh, I got a report I ain't heard from him in a long time. George Speedy, and Fuchon, he took his wife on a birthday and he got on some beautiful trout. He said he was well surprised. I don't know why. Uh, Captain Hurt, Bridgeside Marina, and then Bridgeside Dynamite trout. Right now, it's, I, I think it's a little bit early because all, we always went to Croker's, but they're catching them on croakers in the Slidell area. Down in Venice, they're catching them on live croakers. 
So some, some of them, not all of them. The plastics are still biting. You see Chaz is still doing it. Uh, we don't leave nothing out right now. But, oh, Alan Marina, all, all her captains, all, all that captains over there are coming in and catching fish. And uh, they booking fast now. But uh, take a chance. Call them up and tell them. Uh, and, and book in advance. You know, all this is good fishing still coming up. Especially in August. And then you get in late summer with all the rodeos that are coming up. They're doing it. Fourth of July rodeos, Golden Meadow Fouchon Rodeo. I'm just trying to repeat myself, and I don't want to miss nothing now. So that's where it is. Uh, and by the way, down at Toefield, the old Toefield's old place, and the feet, they booking trips right now. They catching fish, the feet. Now, you got to remember, they'll run east and west, and they'll go down there. And uh, be aware, they're going to start making those, those island jumping. They're going to start taking those plane trips. So, so put them in your book. And, uh, and I'm going to leave y'all right now. I'm going to promise y'all next week I, we're going to get a report from CCA. I'm sure Red, Red was just chocked up. He was the way master at Swole Fest. Uh, Nick. Promised to send something by that. I guess he just couldn't get me all that. I'll try to put that together, and next week I'll bring you. Try to get Jason also. Jason made a trip with those, those, those warriors and, his, and uh, all them veterans down in Toledo Bend. He got some video. we try to get him there next week. So, You watching Paradise from Louisiana? Protect us from the storms. God bless Louisiana. One more time, I want to thank Alan for what he's always doing over here, getting, taking care of me over at Pelican Studios. And Marty, the faithful. Thank you, Marty. See y'all next week. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Demco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. <laughs>